Hello and welcome to my new video. My name is Elia Kavas. I'm a photographer since 2011. And in this video, I will give you insights in my product photography and I will give you some commercial photography tips. These product photography tips will lead to results like this picture here. And maybe you will gain some new commercial photography ideas from watching. I will guide you with some product photography tips through this commercial photography shooting and afterwards, I will show you how to compose the whole product photography picture in Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. In product photography, it's always important to have a smooth background. That's why I chose this black backdrop. And product photography without softboxes and flashes is almost not existing. So here are my two softboxes with the Nikon SB25 flashes and the Fotix wireless flash triggers. To position the product in front of the backdrop, I chose this nightstand which I provided with the white surface. The problem in product photography is to remove all the reflections on the surface of your product. As a product today, I have this soda bottle here. The problem with the soda bottle is that it reflects the light of the softboxes on the surface, which leads to these white stripes here. To remove these white stripes, I have placed the two softboxes above the bottle so we only gonna have a reflection in this area of the bottle. To start our product photography shooting, turn on both flashes and set the triggers on the same channel. I set the lens to 50mm and I chose the aperture around the sweet spot of the lens. This is the aperture where the lens is the sharpest. The sweet spot of my lens is in the center of the frame at f4 and in the corners it's f5.6. So I will choose f5 to have something in between. For the shutter speed I will choose 1 over 160 of a second. If I go shorter with the shutter speed I will get black bars in the picture. This is also called the sync time of your flash. Your sync time is influenced by your camera, the flash and the triggers you are using. Now we have to set our flashes accordingly to our camera settings. Important is to set both flashes on the same settings so we will have a constant distribution of light. Set the flash accordingly to your focal length and aperture and then play around with the flash power till your picture is well lit. Now let's bring our product in. First of all, you should clean your product from dust and fingerprints so you don't need to remove them in post. I'm going to build a small scene with some additional fruits. So now that we have our set, we can fire the lights and start shooting. So now that we finished shooting, we can import our picture into Photoshop. And the first thing that I see is that the small lemon slices are a bit overexposed and the big ones are a bit underexposed. To change that, we'll put a levels adjustment layer on top of our background layer. Now we can slide this middle slider a bit to the right till the little slices look natural again. This should be good. Then we select our mask and hit Ctrl and backspace to fill the mask with black. So now we can hit B for the brush. Make sure your foreground color is white so that we can paint back our adjustment. This looks good. Now we do the same for the big slices. We need another levels adjustment layer. Now we slide the middle slider a bit to the left. This looks good. Then we select the mask again and hit Ctrl and Backspace to fill the mask with black again. Our brush is already selected. The foreground color is white so we can paint our adjustment in. If you paint around corners like this one, you can hit ALT and your right mouse button and slide your mouse up or down to adjust the hardness of your brush. Choose a smooth brush for the edges 
and make sure you take your time while painting. If you did a mistake, you can simply hit X to change the foreground color to black and remove your mistake again. I do this very roughly, please take your time to gain the best results. To make this picture more special, I've prepared this water splash. I want this water splash behind the soda bottle, so I'll select the water layer, right click on it, duplicate the layer to our picture document, and then I'll select the water layer again, hit Ctrl and T to transform, and position the water layer in the middle of our bottle. If you are finished with transforming and positioning, hit enter. To position the water behind the bottle, you can make the water layer invisible by clicking on this eye icon. And then you duplicate your background layer. On the background layer, you select your wizard tool by hitting W. Then you click on the black background to select the black background. And when everything is selected, you simply hit delete. So now you can see that our black background got transparent on this layer. So now we can move this water layer behind our background copy layer, make it visible again. And as you see, the water is behind the bottle. Select your background copy layer again and hit E to remove these black stripes here. Picture. Another thing I want to do to this picture is to make the colors pop a bit more. So I'll put a vibrance adjustment layer on top of everything and select the vibrance of plus 20 and the saturation of maybe plus 5. And now for the finishing touch I'll put a curves layer on top of everything and I'll draw a small S curve to give this picture more contrast and to make the colors pop a bit more. Now we are finished with editing this product photography picture. If you like this product photography tutorial, consider liking and subscribing so I can see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.